Hi everyone, we are now backstage with Stacy Cicero representing Orbe. Hello Stacy. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm doing awesome. How are you? Very, very fine. Also, it's such an amazing uh, inspiration here around the, the atmosphere in this room. Talking about that, Stacy, introduce yourself a little bit. Where are you coming from? Well, Stacy Ciceron, coming from the U.S. I'm a hairstylist, business coach, and Orbe global educator. I'm so excited to be here for so many reasons, but I guess we'll get into that shortly. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more. What, what mean uh, for you to be a coach? What, what is your specialty? Well, I really have always had a passion for working with um, hairstylists, for mm -hmm. working with salon owners, mm -hmm. um, especially having them understand the power of working with brands, understanding how to work on the business and less in the business because, you know, growing up, hairdressing wasn't something that was always accepted in my family, this creative field coming from a Caribbean background. Yeah. They always wanted us to lawyer, doctor, engineer. Yeah. So it was like, for me, I took it personal to make it professional, make it sustainable. So when I mentor hairstylists and salon owners, it's all about how to establish yourself to be sustainable cool. and you know to, so you, to build yourself as a professional. Got you totally. So it's not on the technical level, much more on a yeah. behavior or technical skill, which is more on, on your as, as to be as her own addresser, right? Well, you know what? To me, there's a winning formula. Mm -hmm. And so not everybody has a missing piece, so yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. So some people, uh, in order to present themselves as an expert on authority, they need to brush up their skills. Yeah. Some people have the skills, but they don't have the business. Some people have the business, they don't have the skill. Some so. people have that, they don't have customer service. So in each environment, you just see what is that mm -hmm. missing piece and then that's what you try to elevate and that's what I help to Sounds do. Sounds really amazing and you are also in your salon in a daily business too. Yes. Yes. And how big is your salon? How many staff do you have? Yeah, well, actually, um, I stepped away from being behind the chair in okay. 2016 to pursue what I'm doing full time. Mm -hmm. um, when I was behind the chair, I had a calling to do more, yeah. to speak with more, to mm -hmm. be able to impact more lives. I felt like Yes, I was impacting my community and the stylists in my salon and the clients, they were impacted by me. But deep down, I felt like the world yeah. needed me. Okay. And I made the decision in 2016 to step away, very, very, very big decision, wow, wow, wow. to step yeah, away from my business because it wasn't a failing business, it was a thriving business, mm -hmm. to step away to just answer the calling. And talking about the world, you are presenting something in a few minutes. So can you just tease a little bit? What was your creative thinking this time on this big stage in Amsterdam? Well, I take my role very seriously. And even to this date, I don't know the impact of me being here. I don't know the impact of my position with Orbe. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine how that is affecting uh, young girls, young yes. men yeah, watching me coming into the industry. So I take that very, very, very seriously. And when I joined the brand, it was important for me to add an element of awareness and exposure to women of color, to a multicultural mm. community. Yes. So whenever I get the opportunity to display that culture to to elevate it and to bring awareness to it i take advantage of it every single time so on this presentation i'm doing just that i'm bringing that african diaspora Super. that african futurism and bringing it in a more of a relatable way more of an inspiring way so that people can learn, they can be inspired, and also have the awareness. Woo! That sounds amazing, yes, Stacey. <laughs> and you know what? I give you another chance. Here's a camera. Yes. And you can share everything you want to your community in the U.S. We know yes. a lot of people are watching you. Yeah. So it's your time, Stacey. Say what you want to say, what you want to share with all your emotion, which is amazing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I am just so... Uh, I'm just so honored to be here. I'm, it's a humbling experience to be here. I don't take it for granted. I know that my presence is 
impactful here and just being around all these amazing creative leaders is also inspiring me. So I hope that if you just get a touch of inspiration, a touch of awareness, then I have done what I came here to do. I'm so excited to be here and I hope that I don't let you down. So stay tuned wow, wow, wow. and I look forward to bringing, bringing the heat at this event yeah. here today. <laughs> Such a powerful moment. Thank you so much, Tessie. Yes. Enjoy your show and guys, see you next time.